the Apple iPhone 14 series have been fully revealed and I'll be sharing the details right after this. Today, we've got the reveal of all four iPhone 14 models, including more confirmation of the specs. Before we get started though, like the video if you're a fan of Apple, let me know in the comments who out there is waiting for the iPhone 14, and if you haven't already, then hit subscribe now so you don't miss a thing in the future. So first story of the day, before we get into the reveals, we've got news of a true punch hole display with a face ID sensor hidden underneath the screen. Now this news comes from the Alec and it's unfortunately not for the iPhone 14 and it's actually for next year's iPhone but at least we do have something to look forward to. But next up we've got the CAD leak for the standard iPhone 14 models and this is going to be the design of both the standard iPhone 14 as well as the new iPhone 14 Max. They were leaked by my smart price and as you can see we've got a notch on the front display as well as another dual camera system on the rear and as you can probably already tell it looks pretty much identical to its predecessor. Now looking at the CAD details it does have a slightly thicker frame of glass on the rear camera housing but design wise it's really not good going to change. As well as no design changes, Ming-Chi Kuo told us last week that the lower end iPhone 14 models are going to be using the same chipset as this year and now this is being backed up further by Mark Gurman. He says that for the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 14 Max, they'll be using the A15 Bionic again, although they will be making some slight changes and they'll rebrand it as the A16 chipset to try and avoid any backlash. The new chipset, however, is going to be in the iPhone 14 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max, and because of this rebrand of the previous chipset, then the new chipset is now going to be called the A16 Pro. Now, while people see this as a bad thing, we have to remember that it should reduce the cost for the lower end models and I'm wondering if the reason they've actually done it in the first place is because of the global chip shortage so they might not have had much of a choice. That being said, if it looks the same as the 13 and it also has the same chipset then they better be giving it some camera and display upgrades to make people want to buy it. Now next up we've got more leak schematics for the iPhone 14 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max and these give us a very detailed look at the phone. The schematics were leaked by Max Weinbach on Twitter and it confirms a lot about the design. From the measurements we see that the iPhone 14 Pro is actually 0.8mm taller and 0.2mm thicker than the predecessor whereas the iPhone 14 Pro Max is actually going to be 0.1mm shorter. We can see the punch hole and pill shape cut outs in the display along with another triple camera setup on the rear. Although the schematics don't show a lidar scanner, it is going to be there. While we were told early on of camera lenses inside the main body, that's also not going to be the case. It's the same as last year with the raised camera module on the rear. Now overall though, the iPhone 14 series is looking incredible and it's exciting to finally get a new design without a notch. We're going to have to wait and see if keeping the same chipset in the lower end models is going to upset consumers, but if it keeps the cost down then it should be okay. Now for those of you excited, for the Apple iPhone 14 though, we're now going to run through the full specs, design and the expected pricing of each model in the range. For my regular viewers, you guys have seen this so just skip to the next video, but if you're new here then hit subscribe now and we'll get right into it. To start with, the new entry level model is going to be the iPhone 14. With the iPhone 14, we get a 6.1 inch Super Retina OLED display. It's expected to be a 90Hz display with an 1170 by 2532 resolution and this gives us 460 pixels per inch. On the front, we'll be getting a 12 megapixel selfie camera, but unlike the Pro models, we will have a notch instead of a punch hole camera. On the rear, it's expected that they're going to stick with a dual camera setup, but it may be the first time we get a LiDAR scanner on the lower end models. The dual camera setup is going to consist of a wide angle and an ultra wide camera, and the phone is going to be powered by the new A16 Bionic, which is going to be a 4 nanometer chipset that's both more powerful and efficient than the A15. It's going to be coming with 6GB of RAM and a choice of 128, 256, or 512 storage. The phone's going to be powered by a 3240 mm amp hour battery with improved fast charging likely to be something like 25 watts. It's expected to support both wireless and reverse wireless charging and it's also expected to come with 5G, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2 and ultra wideband support. It will of course ship with the new iOS 16. When it comes to pricing, Apple have been keeping things relatively the same lately so we're expecting the base model to start from $799. 
Now next up, we've got the iPhone 14 Pro. With the iPhone 14 Pro, we get a 6.1 inch ProMotion OLED display. It's a 120 hz LTPO display with a resolution of 1170 by 2532, which gives us 440 pixels per inch. On the front, we get another 12 megapixel wide angle camera with Face ID sensors embedded in the display. On the rear, we get a triple camera setup consisting of a 48 megapixel wide angle as the primary, a 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 12 megapixel telephoto, and of course, we get the additional LiDAR scanner. The phone is gonna be powered up by the A16 Bionic, and it's expected that it's gonna come with a choice of eight gigs of RAM, 128, 256, 512, and one terabytes of storage. The phone's gonna be powered up by a 3,240 milliamp hour battery with improved fast charging likely to be 25 watts. It's expected to support both wireless and reverse wireless charging, and it's also expected to come with 5G, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2, and ultra-wideband support. It's gonna ship with iOS 16, and the base model of the iPhone 14 Pro is expected to launch from $999. Now next up, we've got the new edition, which is the iPhone 14 Max. The iPhone 14 Max is expected to come with a 6.7 inch Super Retina OLED display. It's expected to be a 90 hertz display with a resolution of 1284 by 2778. On the front, we get a 12 megapixel selfie camera, and on this model, we also have a notch. And then on the rear, we get a 12 megapixel wide angle as the primary, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and the LiDAR scanner. The phone's gonna be powered by the new A16 Bionic, and it should be coming with 6 gigs of RAM and a choice of 128, 256 or 512 storage. The iPhone 14 Max is going to be powered by a 4,352 milliamp hour battery, again with fast charging likely to be 25 watts. It's expected to support both wireless and reverse wireless charging and it's also going to come with 5G, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2 and ultra wideband support. Of course, it's going to be shipping with iOS 16. When it comes to pricing, we expect the iPhone 14 Max to start from $899. Now, finally, we've got the top end model, the iPhone 14 Pro Max. The iPhone 14 Pro Max is coming with a 6.7 inch ProMotion OLED display. We're expecting a 120Hz LTPO display with a resolution of 1284 by 2778, giving us 458 pixels per inch. On the front, we get a 12 megapixel punch hole selfie camera with Face ID under the display. And then on the rear, it's the triple camera setup and a LiDAR scanner. The triple camera consists of a 48 megapixel wide angle, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 12 megapixel telephoto. The phone's going to be powered by the A16 Bionic, and it's expected that it's going to come with a choice of 8 gigabytes of RAM, 128, 256, 512, or 1 terabyte storage. The phone's going to be powered by a 4,352 milliamp hour battery with improved fast charging, likely to be 25 watts. And again, it's likely to support both wireless and reverse wireless charging. It's expected to come with 5G, Wi Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2, and ultra wideband support, and it will, of course, ship with iOS. OS 16. The base model of the iPhone 14 Pro Max is expected to launch from $1,099 and of course the higher storage options will cost more. So overall the iPhone 14 is looking incredible and it's great to finally see some drastic design changes. In terms of the hardware they've already got a good setup going so focusing on design is a good move. Of course the iPhone 14 series is going to be launching in September 22 and as more and more leaks come in I'll continue to share them as they do. As always though, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments, who out there is excited for the Apple iPhone 14, and what do you think about the budget models using the same chip as before? But thanks for watching the video, if you liked it smash a thumbs up, if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice, and I'll see you guys in the next one.